Hey everyone, welcome to the channel and basically what we're going to be doing each week is covering a bunch of math topics that will help you in school and make math hopefully a little bit easier for you. So if that's something you're interested in, just make sure you subscribe and like for more. So today we'll be covering radicals. They're these square root things that look kind of funny, you don't really see them. You might have seen them, but there's a lot of misconceptions about them. So let's start. We have root 5 plus root 5 over here. What we cannot do is just do 5 plus 5 gives us 10 and put it under a root. We cannot do that. So when we have two of these that are the same, um, we just write 2 root 5 because it's kind of like there's two of them. You could think of each one as x and then when you add them up, you get 2x. So this is the right answer. This is the wrong answer. So if we had, let's say, set root 7 plus root 7, this would be root 2 root 7, not um, root 14. So it would be this, not that. All right, so let's keep going. We have root five times root five. So what a root is, is when it's multiplied by itself, it gives us that number. So for example, if I had the root of x times the root of x, when you multiply those two together, you would get x. And if I had the root of seven times the root of seven, I would get seven. So when it's the same uh, number under the radical, and you multiply them by each other, you just get the original number, these things go away, and you get 5. So that would be your answer for this one. All right, now we have 3 root 5 times 4 root 5. So we could think of this as 3 times root 5, because it's just the same thing. They just didn't put the dot there to indicate multiplication. And for this one, we could write this as 4 times root 5. And there's a multiplication sign here, so we just bring that down. So right now we have 3 times root 5 times 4 times root 5. Now let's try to break this down into two parts. So first we have 3, right? And we also have 4. So we could write this as 3 times 4. But we also have root 5 times root 5. So let's write that out. And when we do this, 3 times 4, that gives us 12. Five, root 5 times root 5. Remember what we did over here, back up here. So root 5 times root 5 is just 5. So root 5 times root 5 gives us 5. And since there was multiplication between the two, we just do 12 times 5, and that gives us 60. And that's our answer for this one. All right, let's keep going. We have 3 root 5 times uh, plus root 5. So remember what we said before when we do addition with radicals. We can't just like put them together, add them up, and then throw it under a radical. So what we can do here is think of it like 3x, so the root 5 would be represented by x plus 4x. And the same thing, the root 5 is represented by 4x. And now when we have 3x plus 4x, that gives us 7x, right? 7x. So now all we have to do is replace the x with our root 5 over here. And when we do that, we get 7 root 5. So essentially what we're doing is we're just adding these up thinking of the root fives as terms or I mean variables. And then when we get to the end, we just substitute. So this is our answer. And um, let's keep going. We have one more. So six root two times six root eight. Okay, so same thing as before, we just do multiplication. So six times root two times six times root eight. So this is all multiplication so far. And now what we do is we break it up, right? So we have our numbers, 6 and 6. And when we multiply, we get 6 times 6. And that gives us 36. Now we have root 2 times root 8. So root 2 times root 8, that gives us root 16. And what's the root of 16? That is 4, because 4 times 4 gives us 16. And now all we have to do is multiply 36 and 4 together. And when we do that, we get 144. And that's our answer. All right. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. And if not, just make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more. And if you guys have any suggestions, just let me know.